inside Canada's newest and best velodrome, you couldn't have two better teachers. Keep pushing, you're good, come on. <laughs> Steve Bauer and Kurt Harnett are country's most celebrated cyclists. Still, for a newbie, it's kind of scary. So, I'm about to ride this. Never done something like this. The angle here kind of freaks me out a bit. That's like, right. I have, yeah, to, yeah. I have to really <laughs> climb. But before you can even think of tackling the track, there's the small issue of the bike itself. It's a very well-designed bike, very stable, very well, You say well-designed, but they forgot the brakes. Well, yeah, that's uh, the interesting thing about track bikes. It's all about fluidity. It's a one-way street, and um, you know, and no you, you accelerate, then you slow down using uh, the fixed gear. Okay, over. one gear, no Get brakes. This should yeah, be interesting. Whoop, whoop, whoop. Now you relax. Okay. And then we get our other foot in. If you can, there, tip it in. Almost. Perfect. Hey. There's another thing. Once you get moving, there's no coasting. Those pedals keep going. Pick up the speed a bit, come on. So far, so good with Steve Bauer. He is an Olympic medalist after all. In fact, he was Canada's first ever medal winner in the sport taking silver at the 1984 Olympics in Los Angeles. But perhaps even more impressive, his Tour de France record. Bauer has won the coveted yellow jersey many times over, and no other Canadian has been able to beat his fourth overall finish in 1988. So it's no surprise Bauer knows how to motivate. Wow, 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 Push wow, the wow. pedals, come on. He's being mean to me, he's being really mean. The angle on this is insane. The faster you go, the more you'll relax. That's easy for you to say. Yeah. I think my fingerprints are okay, embedded in the Okay, Keep pedaling, keep pedaling. Don't go too slow. Keep pedaling. These two riders are not giving an inch, are they? Almost shoulder to shoulder. In real competition, the bikes are close, very close. And it's not just about speed, there's strategy. Like the track stand, stopping to force a competitor to shift. Now they're into what we call the standstill. And Kurt decided, well, let me move in front now. It's far more difficult than it looks. You got a slow rider, you want to pass him. How quickly does that happen? If well, you, want, I just, to, I just if you want to pass me, go do it. Not easy, huh? This is a community facility, open even to amateurs. But during their careers, Kurt and Steve had nothing like it in Canada. So they did much of their training outside the country. There was two things against us, and number one was access to facilities. Number two was the weather. You know, a full four-season indoor, you know, state-of-the-art facility is going to be a dramatic opportunity to, to, uh, to not only the current generation but the next generations of cyclists. I mean, we we really have high hopes that the team uh, residing here, the team being here, uh, is going to not only take their game to the next level but inspire that next generation. Now, the big test, stopping without falling. Easy, easy, there you go. You get it? <laughs> That's so easy. Awesome, Whew. nice, that was nice. <laughs> You're doing well. Yeah, that was, uh, that was a thrill. fun, eh? Yeah, it's, I mean, it is a bit nerve wracking, but you go from nerve wracking to, oh my God. Getting in the groove, in, right? In a millisecond, right? Yeah. I'm not going to say I'm totally in the groove, but when you start hitting the, I call it the bank. What yeah, is the it? banking, the banking, yeah. yeah. Wild, just yeah. wild. What a rush. And it is that rush that Harnett and Bauer are banking on as they try to usher in a new golden age of Canadian cycling. David Common, CBC News, Milton, Ontario.